Excellence isn't instant and success doesn't come overnight. So an opportunity may come as something of a surprise when it finally turns up. Mishka Patel is one of the new faces on SABC2, but she wasn't expecting it, as she explained to Kriya recently. No matter where Mishka Patel may be, she has a way of standing out in a crowd. And it isn't only thanks to her height. Her stunning looks and endless legs definitely have something to do with it. And there's also the vibrant personality and her ability to establish a rapport with people of all ages and backgrounds. Breaking into the media industry at a young age can be quite challenging. Trust me, I know. But at 24 years old, Mishka Patel has achieved a vast number of accolades. She was in the top 12 of Miss South Africa in 2014 and in the top 10 of the presenter search on SABC3. Now she hosts popular Afrikaans lifestyle show, Pasela. Mishka aspires to inspire. And today we're out at the Old Biscuit Mall in Woodstock to see if we can catch up with her while she's on set. Mishka was one of the finalists in SABC 3's presenter search in 2015. And she's adopted a professional approach to her role as magazine show host. In action. Tot ons volgende week weer saam keir. Selfde tyd, selfde plek. En kak. I think I'm going to try and Hi. sneak in here quickly. <laughs> How are you, Mishka? You Good are. How are you? Good, thanks. Whilst you have a quick break, yes, I, I thought we'll catch up and then we'll leave you to carry on with your shoot. Perfect. So, Mishka, what was it like for you growing up? Extremely nerdy, very academic. My parents didn't want me doing anything but study and focusing on schoolwork. And after school, I went straight into studying my beak on business management. So I think at 21, I decided to be the rebel and that's when I entered for Miss South Africa. Miss SA stands for, for something so amazing and it's really to bring change to the world. And that's what I stand for. Mm -hmm. So when I got my degree, I actually got my degree while doing Miss SA. And I competed with Rolene Strauss, Miss Wall. Yes, that must have been a tough one. <laughs> Quite a difficult <laughs> one. So everything started when I entered for Miss Essay because when I grew up I was bullied really badly. I was always the tallest in my class. I have a big forehead as you can see now. I wear it proudly. <laughs> you have such a busy schedule and I know I'm interrupting you and I can see your director giving me the sneaky eye in the background. <laughs> So what does a typical day for you entail? You actually found me on a perfect day because I'm shooting after this. I have a little photo shoot set up. So you can follow me today and then you can have a little taste into the life of Mishka Patel. Her meticulous preparation enables Mishka to introduce an element of confidence into an interview and to make her guests feel at home. Sneaking in again before you run away. <laughs> How do you prepare for a typical TV shoot? I always start at least two days before the time. You know, I need to do research about who I'm interviewing. I like to be updated and informed as to who I'm doing the interview with. I like to learn my link so that I'm not put on the spot when I'm doing the interview with someone. Oh, it's quite a long day. So you started as a model and now you progressed into TV. What made you make that change? I always loved being in front of a camera. I think it got hard for me when as soon as someone saw me they would assume because of my length that I'm a model and immediately they would assume I have no education. I don't know why and that frustrated me. And I wanted to focus more on TV presenting because that's where you can really show your personality. Yes. And that's what I love about Basella. You can be you and I mean I'm a small town Afrikaans girl and that's what you can see when I'm a TV presenter and not necessarily when I'm a model. I can not believe that this pass already in 1881 begin to build. And that is now nog here for us to genie. Oh, come on, let's go! I still want to see you in the modeling world and I know you have a shoot planned after this, so shall we get to it? Yes, please, let's go. After making the top 12 in Miss South Africa, Mishka was among the finalists of a number of other national competitions, including reaching the top three of Joanne Strauss's Social Stars in 2015. Some would have found it disheartening to get so close to taking the crown on more than one occasion without actually winning. But Mishka turned the experience and exposure to her advantage. She has been appointed an ambassador for a number of major brands, and she approaches every modeling assignment with the same level of focus. Shiraz Reddy clearly enjoyed teaming up with Mishka. I think, yeah, I mean, just look straight at it. What do you love about working with Mishka? You know, it's not just about the fact that she's the ideal model size, <laughs> and I mean, but from head to toe, she's so comfortable, mm. so elegant, absolutely beautiful. So she really takes the clothing and the shoe to the next level. And it makes it comfortable as a stylist because mm. you know that that model is going to interpret what it is that mm. you're trying to project. 
Having taken care of a few details, the last frames of the shoot were ready to be taken. Let's see some of these photos. Oh, I love that. I love it with oh, the. I love it really. Oh, oh, thanks, thanks, thanks so much, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> when it comes to doing shoots like this, how do you incorporate your own style? When it comes to Mishka Patel, it's always very classy, very simple, very chic. But when it comes to shoots, I feel like I can play with my style. And it's a very few stylists that get my sense of style and still make something as daring as what I'm wearing today work for me. Because I'm tall, certain things doesn't work for me. Jumpsuits, for instance, work perfectly for me. Yeah. And I've worked with Shiraz before and he just knows my style so well. If you have time for a quick break, why don't we grab a drink? Ooh. Mm. Oh, thank, Ooh, thank you, you very so much. much. This looks great. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, so good, so refreshing. So why did you decide to enter Miss SA? Well, funny enough, I never entered myself. My boyfriend entered for me. I only found out the day I got the phone call saying, hey, you're a semi-finalist for Miss South Africa for, excuse me, for what? <laughs> I never believed in myself enough in the first place to think that I would even make it as a semi-finalist or in the top 100, never mind being in the top 12 with Rolien Strauss. So the day I entered for Miss South Africa is the day my life changed. And I finally started to believe in myself. And that's when the real Mishka Patel could step forward. So you must thank your boyfriend every day. Oh yes, I still do, till this day. <laughs> what was one of the lessons that have stayed with you since the competition? This is going to sound so typical. You hear this all the time. But if you, if you can dream it and if you really believe it, you can achieve it. Staying in shape can be quite a challenge for most people. But you seem to do it quite naturally. 2014, I was 10 k's heavier than I am today. Um, it, was a, it, it was a terrible time in my life. Um, things got hard. I, I found out my mom has cancer. I started training four times, five times a day. I lost 10 k's in one month and I kept it off until today. Wow. I train every day. I run 10 to 20 k a week. It's what I love. I love being healthy because I also think it's important to promote that you need to take care of yourself. Our health is our greatest wealth and I'm going to make mine count. You're involved in a lot of upliftment programs and you even have Mishka Patel's success class. I come from Ida's Valley Stellenbosch and growing up I was told I would not be anyone or anything actually by a teacher. So my plan was to go out there and go to three schools, one in Ida's Valley, one in Clittersville and one just outside Stellenbosch. And I'm gonna to go to these girls, girls who are just like me, and I'm gonna tell them, listen here, you can be whatever you wanna be. It doesn't matter who says what, what your circumstances are. If you wanna be something, work towards it, and you can. Because if I can, so can you. Your rise to fame in the entertainment industry was quite a quick one. I mean, you did it over about two years. How did you know that this was the path you wanted to take? After Miss South Africa, I think my, my eyes really opened to what there is and to what I can do as a person. So in two years, finally after getting over all those insecurities, I decided, listen, I'm going to jump and I'm going to take every single chance I'm going to get. And I did, and this is where I am now. So call me an opportunist or not, but this is where I'm supposed to be. You lost your mum about seven months ago. How did this affect you and how did you cope with it? It just made me want to work harder. She wrote me a letter that I got a week after her death. And she said, Mishka, I need you to move on and I need you to go on because you know what I want for you. And that's what I live by every day. I need to push forward for her. You really are a very strong woman, Mishka. Thank you. What advice would you give to anyone young or old wanting to get into the media industry? If you want to do something, just do it. That's what I did. I just went for it. And honestly, your life is so short. Everything can change in a blink of an eye. Take your opportunities now. Well, Mishka, thank you so much for spending the day with me today. I know you do aspire to inspire, and I definitely felt inspired today. And we wish you all the best in the future. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.